Have you ever wished you could just open the Bible to see a direct answer to your relationship questions? Questions like, does God want me to be with this person? Is this person the right person? Well, how God leads you to your spouse can be mysterious. Although there are common signs to know when God sends you the man you are called to be with in a relationship, the Bible is living and active, and completely sufficient for everything we need to live our lives as followers of Christ. However, some answers don't come first without a bit of digging and research. As much as we wish we could flip through the pages and land on a verse that plainly reads, Thou may accept his engagement or thou must not go to out with him. It's just not there in the way we tend to look for it. But that doesn't mean the answer doesn't exist. So how can we know if God wants us to be with someone? The first sign is if being in a relationship with this person glorifies God. God sends people into our lives for one reason and that is to serve him and build his kingdom on earth. So every relationship you find yourself should serve that purpose. If being with him doesn't compromise your relationship with God but rather strengthens it, then that may be the right person. The one God has for you will have a similar desire for God as you and encourage you to pursue Christ. He will have similar morals and values and live a life in which he puts God first. Because, believe me, God won't send you someone that corrupts your character or leads you astray. Therefore, you will know that your relationship glorifies God if your conversations and activities honor God with your body, mind and soul. A very simple way to know God's will in a relationship is to analyze whether the relationship aligns with God's purpose for your life. I know that finding your purpose can be very intimidating, because more often than not, we don't know what our purpose is yet. However, once you do you have to honestly ask yourself if your relationship aligns with it. Is your partner bringing you closer to what God has called you to do? Or is he or she pushing you away from it? You will know the answer to that by how much they support and encourage you in your pursuit. If you feel like you have to give up on your calling in order to be with someone, then it means the relationship is not aligned with God's purpose for you. A lot of times you will even notice that God is leading you to the one by using your purpose. Secondly, do you make each other better? The fact is, every relationship no matter if romantic or not will either add to your life or subtract from it, and the man God wants you to be with will add to it. God won't send you someone that drains your energy and disturbs your peace, but he will lead you to a man that edifies you. This man will be a safe haven for your thoughts and dreams, and he will believe and support you on your journey. The next sign you should watch out for is if this person makes you feel compared. Matthew 5 verse 28 says, But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Does he check out other women, talk about his ideal woman, or tell you how you can improve? No, just no. It is very disrespectful for a man to talk about other women in a way that he should only talk about you. Your potential future spouse shouldn't make you feel like you need to improve yourself to make them happy. If you see that he has a bad habit of checking out other women or making inappropriate comments, you have to acknowledge that your boyfriend has a wandering eye, something that will be detrimental to your relationship. You absolutely need to feel like you are perfect just the way you are and that he has eyes for only you. Sometimes sharing our deepest secrets and biggest flaws can be a challenge. We are scared that he might not like it and leave or we may simply be ashamed of them. However, the right one will make you feel good about yourself and love you just the way you are. Has God revealed the one to you? Many people have asked the question to know whether or not it is possible that the Lord reveals to us exactly who we will marry, meaning the face and the name of that person even years before it happens. I would say it is possible because nothing is impossible to the Lord. Yes, the Lord can do anything, even for what concerns the spouse someone is to have. The Lord can reveal it if he wills so. We can see through the Bible that the Lord has revealed to Hosea, who would be his wife. Also before Hosea, the Lord showed to Abraham's servant who would be Isaac's wife in Genesis 24 verse 14 to 21. But apart from that, there is something that is very important to understand in such situations, which is that I believe that when the Lord plans anything for us he makes everything work for good. 
We do not have to force anything when the Lord is at work. The servant of Abraham made the prayer and said, O God, God of my master Abraham, make things go smoothly this day. And the Lord did really make things work smoothly. I really believe that where the Lord is at work nothing is forced. Everything happens naturally. This also implies the fact that the concerned spouse will finally react positively to that prophecy just like Rebecca and her family all accepted what the servant said after they all heard his story. However, be really careful with brothers and sisters who come and say, The Lord has revealed to me in a dream that you are to be my spouse. Why do I say we need to be careful with such claims? Simply because the word of God warns us about false prophets and false prophecies. And so many are misled by their own feelings and heart's desires. Seek God for yourself and ask him to confirm to you what he has revealed to them. A very crucial sign is, does their actions speak louder than their words? One thing I believe God does when he wants you to be with someone is that he will send you very clear signs of whether or not the other person is the one for you. That's why you have to pay close attention to his words and actions. Do they match? A man who is in it for the long run wants to be trustworthy and make sure that he's reliable. He won't say one thing and do another, but rather show you with his actions that he is serious about you. Many men will speak about all the things they want to do, but only a few will actually follow up and put in the work, and they will only do so for the woman they value. When God sends you someone, that person will have integrity and stand by their word. Another sign is if you truly trust him. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 7 says, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things and endures all things. Be cautious when giving someone your full and complete trust. Earning someone's trust is never done quickly because it takes time and takes consistency. Like a bank account, both of you need to make little deposits to that trust bank account daily. And after a while when you feel comfortable, you can start increasing the amount. The man God has for you will make you feel comfortable investing. You will trust him because of his words and actions as mentioned above. His intentions for you will be clear and you will feel peace about the relationship. The best way to test that is to observe his actions when he's around you. Is he open and communicative or closed up and hard to read? Does he have a problem with you being close when he's on the phone or reading emails? Or does he ask you to pick up a call if he's busy? Does he ever act suspiciously? Is he really good at talking his way out of things? Do you feel like he is really secretive and uncommunicative about topics that are important for you to discuss? These are warning signs that you cannot ignore. Insecurities are almost always going to be there in the beginning of every relationship. But a good and godly man will prove himself trustworthy over and over again. In a thriving relationship, your fears and doubts will vanish the more time you spend together. You will start to trust him, not just with the relationship but with your life, goals and future. If you are in a relationship with a man who is communicative and honest about his flaws, you will find yourself trusting him more and more. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen.